this is Billy Carpenter, my personal band director, and all the boys' band director. It's Mr. Carpenter, Aaron. Wait. How do you feel about this group? Boys are an interesting bunch, and I'm fairly certain they've infiltrated the CIA at this point. What do you see for us in the future? Different things. I think there's a lot of potential in the boys, uh, musically and in your own bright individual futures. Who is your favorite? Lazy Gregory. How did you first get introduced into this group? Uh, entirely too quickly. I was hired three days before I met the band. The first time I walked in here, I saw nothing but broken instruments and a horse hanging from the ceiling, <coughs> courtesy of the boys. After several hours of fixing instruments, I felt like the band room was in working order, and the next day I came in to meet the band in the library. Bonus question. How does it feel to be the busy bus dad? It's a great honor. As it should be. Well, it's nice having you here today. Thank you. Hello, this is Mrs. Priscilla Wilkerson, our old band director, now the North Arm Middle School band director. How do you feel about this group? Well, um, when they, sometimes they're kind of weird. <laughs> uh, I, sometimes I think, what are they doing? But that, they're a great group of people and a really important part of the band, for sure. That's how I feel. What do you see for us in the future? Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. You guys are going to do great things. Who is your favorite? Mm. Lacey. And now, how do you feel when we first formed? Mm, I don't know the when you first formed. Um, so I really don't know that. I, I don't know. I just thought, wow. Hello, this is Aaron Jones. I messed up. <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> this is Mr. Brett McIntosh, my personal first band director, and all of the Busy Bus Boys first band director, also known as the Busy Bus Man. Nice to have you here today. Thank you so much for inviting me. Okay. My first question is, how do you feel about this group? Um, at first, uh, very uncomfortable. I felt very uncomfortable. I didn't know um, anything about the group. I didn't know their intentions. I thought maybe it was a, a media ploy uh, with some sort of political agenda. But after coming to know the group and their intentions, I realized that it's just a bunch of kids wanting to master the uh, art of mischief. What do you see for us in the future? After following the Busy Bus Boys over the last year, I see uh, a lot of potential growth in membership. Um, I also see maybe a rise in incarceration right, among the group. You never know. Okay. Who's your favorite member? Uh, my favorite member by far is probably the busy bus gal, Lacey. Your favorite. Okay. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for having me. So we were all at my house, <laughs> and we had this keyboard, and you could record sounds, and somebody said, bust. It was you. you said, it was just me and you in the room. Okay. Well, I said, bust, and we went, bu -bu 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 bust, bust. And so bust was funny. We what? brought it to school. Mark Gregory said, Busy bus boys. That's so cool. We're like, okay, it's official. Busy bus boys. All right. That's so, name was made. who's the leader of this group? I am the alpha. Awesome. <laughs> Who is Omega? You. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I have a few questions for each of you. Noah, how does it feel to be the leader of this group? Tyler, how does it feel being the drum major? Um, it's been really great. It's a really great experience. Um, I ran into a lot of challenges that bettered me as a person, so I, I treasure that dearly, and I hope that I can take this through the rest of my life. But I hope I brought the band a lot of good spirits and good memories, and it's been wonderful. Awesome. How does it feel being the oldest? Um, I don't really think about it a lot, because Noah's also old. He's a fifth year senior. We're all young at heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and my final question for Aaron. Where's the visor? We all know you as the guy who wears visors. Where is the visor? Where is the visor? When did that stop happening? When his, hair got, when his hair got cut. <laughs> yeah, I got my hair cut. It's going out tomorrow. Wait. It is cut. <laughs> I got it cut. Right. I got it right. cut in like December. Yeah. It's in Noah's car. Wait. I just got it out. Wait, wait, we I just kind of remember that the visor stopped happening. <laughs> Trey Maggard, Peyton Smoot, Jacob Hurley, and Mark Gregory. How did you join? I don't remember. It just happened one day. 
Uh, we it was during a football game. We just all kind of huddled under paper. Uh, the first time I went to an actual boys thing, uh, Tyler Ham drank. Or no, David Boggs drank wine, and Tyler sat with him. I was in Pigeon Forge, and I got added to a group chat about the USSR. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see our group as? Um, I get texts. <laughs> <laughs> I see it as a family that we can all hang out and just do stupid stuff with. It's great. The most incredibly stupid people I've ever met in my entire life who are also the funniest. A family that I can count on no matter what. Now, Trey, personal question. Why coins? All right, just sit down. Oh, you already sleep. Have you ever just looked at the back of a quarter? Just like for a second and admired every little like crevice, every little shape. Like, the eagle one, that's more common, but it's still beautiful. Like, even when they have their spots, it's so powerful and passionate, just to look at. Why trumpet? Well, uh, in sixth grade, I was like, I like high-pitched two toots, and it couldn't be that hard, you know, three dollars, right? I was wrong <laughs> to do such, but there I was. How did your parents misspell your name so bad? They're like, man, Jacob's too common. Let's do something special. J-A-K-E-B. <laughs> Heck yeah. And there I was. Why can't you speak English? <laughs> right, thank you for being here today, boys. Thank you, Aaron. Yes. Hello, this is Caleb Campbell, Lacey Gregory, and Toby Wilson. How did you all join? Sixth grade. <laughs> Ninth grade. Hey, was that a, a competition? And they kind of just formed. But, yes. Like you. Mine was just the first day of band camp. Okay. What do you see us as? A friend group. Yeah, definitely just friends. <laughs> friends. <laughs> Caleb, how does it feel to be the strongest boy? Fancy. Let's see, how do you feel about being the only girl with the group? I'll just say it's very interesting. <laughs> the only girl boy. Yeah. <laughs> right. Tell me why you have such crackhead energy. Well, you see, every day before school starts, I go to Starbucks and I order six liquid sugars and inject it straight into my bloodstream. Okay. I want to thank you all for being here today. It was a great interview. How did you join the group? Uh, Mark sent me a text and I kind of just got added because people felt bad. Yeah, same for me. I just got added to a group. They didn't feel bad for me. I just added. <laughs> just got added to a group chat. Got added. Never even knew what happened. What do you see us as? Cult. Cult. A group of friends. <laughs> Cult. Why the jacket? Social anxiety. Why cars? Can you beat Kobe in a grappling match? No. Why do you like mountains? Hmm. I am the mountain man. That should explain it. Okay, thank you for I being here. And now for the closing of the Busy Bus Boys documentary. <laughs>